Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on GTA 5 for another race. Uh, we've got some cars... Uh, I don't know why someone's all the way over there. We've got one car hiding around there by the start line. Everybody else has apparently gone and parked somewhere out here. Oh, they've had a car park. Have we got the Fowl Race car meet going on? Oh, look at this. Wow. This is the best parking... Well, this was the best parking we've ever done and then we got crashed into. Bloody hell. Uh, look at this. It's a very, very colourful Fowl Race car park, if I do say so myself. Uh, we're going to uh, be sneaky and park in front here. I feel like this is only going to end one way, and that way is a disaster. But we're all going to spill out onto the road. Uh, it's kind of like that scene out of um, Second Fast and Furious. Not quite to the same level, but, you know, a little bit. A little bit. Always my favourite scene from that film. Uh, <laughs> anyway... We go racing around a second. We've got a selection of sports cars. Where has the energy gone there? Why was it doing a wheelie? Nobody knows. Um, yeah, selection of sports cars. Hopefully relatively well balanced around here. Fingers crossed. Uh, I am driving the Schlong. That's technically not its name, but it's got called that, and it now shall forever be called that. Uh, so there we go. The Mercedes, the AMG uh, GTR. There is a few other ones. LG Retro Custom. There's a 770. Komoda. And I don't know what else might be around. Komoda just got... <laughs> the Komoda got hit and then the yellow car got Carmen. The yellow car got Carmen quite hard. There's a lot of flying vehicles everywhere. Uh, I think we're playing Wreckfest. I'm fine. You know, uh, slightly less than great... Oh, the eight, the Drafter. The 8F Drafter that is in this one as well. I like the Drafter. Good car. Uh, it's just a good overall car is the Drafter, really. Um, oh, where are we going to go through here? I feel like... I feel like I'm in a position there where if I stayed alongside, we would have got fired towards the trees. Liam tried to make it three wide and it didn't fit. Scotty slid off the map through there. It's been a bit of a uh, hectic first lap. The leader's loving this. The leader has just run away a mile into the distance. But here comes the slipstream train of everybody. Uh, who is it? Is it the, one of the uh, elegies? No, no, it's not an elegy. Sorry, I think it's a, it is another schlong. It's Ewan leading the way. We will... Oh. Turn in. Should have turned in a little bit more. Should have turned in a little bit more than that. I'm um, pointing the wrong way on the exit of the corner. Okay, I thought I could get away with that much speed. The answer is really not. The answer is really not at all. Uh, if you can hear jingling in the background, Cass has found something to play with, and apparently it is uh, cat entertainment time as well. Brazen's found another solid thing to hit in this first race. Oh, Danger Man's had a really awkward... It's been a bad first lap. I'm not going to lie to you, folks. It's It's been a bad, scruffy opening lap, this one. I think I just saw somebody go up the wall as well. Uh, yeah, we did see somebody up the wall. It's not even like we've got an excuse. It's not like it's late. We've filmed five of these already. We're just having a bad race. Let's calm everything down. I mean, these are quite quick cars. Things can go wrong with quite quick cars sometimes. But uh, who knows? Just one of them One of them starts. We, we will calm down. We will sort ourselves out here. Here we go. Let's work together. You probably didn't want to go in there because that's a pit lane. They normally have stop sticks. Um... Oh, the <laughs> so one of those that, like you could see, I could see the disaster happening, and I can't tell them. You know, there's nothing I can. And also, like by the time I could see that disaster happening, even if I told them, it wouldn't matter because they can't suddenly magically pull their car away with all the momentum going towards that pit lane. They're not going to make that mistake again. Oh, you had a very big slide, and I will take the lead away from the frosty gold machine. Someone further back got a bucket load of understeer by the looks of it, and ended up out in the wall. We lead the race. The messy, chaotic me mess of a race. I think I used mess twice. It's the best way to sum it up, honestly. Uh, we're going to carry good speed through here and then through this next section. Sure. Uh, we're going to give a draft. We are going to give a draft uh, back to you, and he's going to come flying past. And that's fine. We kind of want to work together here. If we're smart about this, if we're clever about this, what we can do is uh, work together and hopefully pull away from the pack a little bit. Well, no, we're not going to pull away from the pack, but we can... If we slipstream each other and we work together, we can make it take longer for the pack to catch us. Ultimately, with catch-up going on, we can't we can't do it indefinitely, uh, because yeah, them not working together is quicker than us doing this. However, if they aren't organised at all, we can make it very difficult for them to catch up. And it's a fun race, you know, although I say it's a fun race. You end up doing a lot of passing down straights because you don't actually want to pass in the corners because passing in the corners is bad because it slows you both down. Uh, oh! Okay. 
I might have had something to do with that one a little bit. Uh, oh, I was, going to let, I was going to let you and go. It looked like a slightly weird... So like there's a little light bump, and then you would almost couldn't steer for the corner. Regardless, whatever's happened, is we've been caught by an LG. So it's going to be a three-way battle for the lead. And it won't be long before the others. Just when you've got like four or five cars, you can get such a big slipstream team going that they can go flying forward. Although they, oh, okay. Danger Man got no draft off the back of you and our leapfrog system here because Danger Man's got no help. Our little leapfrog system... I didn't... I didn't expect that to work as well as it did. Our little leapfrog system did work. Ewan ran wide. Oh, I thought Ewan was going to hit those uh, pipes and get, well, killed, wrecked, have a massive accident. But no, everything was fine. Everything was all good back there. We've got Braze. At the moment, it's a schlong one, two, three, and I don't know what's going on further back uh, in all of that group. Ewan's going to sweep around the outside. I was expecting the inside pass. I've got to left some space there, but, yeah, you know, go for the style points. Do I have a dive here? It's almost not worth it. You actually gave us a lot of space if we wanted to go for a dive there. It's almost not worth it when you've got this long straight. In fact, we're going to get... Oh, we're going to do this really awkwardly now. Uh, we're going to get just a better run on the exit. Here comes Brazen. There's another... Oh, there's Danger Man with the Elegy. There is an Elegy heading towards us. See, I can't really move over to try and get the draft off of uh, Brazen because Ewan was there. Uh, oh, it's all a little bit bumpy into the hairpin. That's fine. We dink the curb just a smidge. Oh, this is good. This is the side of bad things to come. Three wise towards this very far chicane. Now, there is no real slipstream run to the finish line here. Whoever's first out of that chicane probably has a good shout unless they balls up the... F if they do that, if they do that, that would have been a glorious... That's three cars in the final two corners. If you want to do that again... Oh, there's some bumping. I think they got away with it. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. There's a pinball effect going on. Uh <laughs> It's not our night tonight. We're having a fun race. Up in the front. Fact, it was Danger Man that was involved at the start of it. Somehow got away with it. I guess as they were all sort of trying to regain control, it uh, ended up with the Elegy uh, popping out relatively well. We go for this big cutback. I quite like that line, actually, through there. It gets me onto this straight quite nicely. We're always going to get slipstream passed, but it does get me onto the straight quite, quite well. Can I move across and go get Danger Man's slipstream before the rest of the horde approaches? We can a little bit. Uh, we're going to slingshot past one. There goes Liam with the other LG. Uh, Ewan got behind us and did get on the brakes. This is a brave move. It's a big lunge from me. I was really worried. I really thought I had that momentary panic where I thought I'd turned in too soon and was going to hit that hay bale on the inside. But we did get away with it through there, which is nice. going to run towards the outside of the circuit. There goes Ewan. He's going to pass us. Uh, no, Liam was there, thought better of it. Yeah, we can get a big run. In fact, we've got such a big run there, we are going to complete the pass before we even get to the corner. That's fine by me. We're going to get re we're going to get passed down towards the hairpin. We've got a group of cars. See, when it's like four cars, trying to... Oh, I'm gonna go, oh no, we're going to go three wide. Brazen... Oh, my Brazen hit that rock, I suspect. That flippy, flippy rock in the middle of the track. Oh, this is a really awkward place because no one's got any slipstream because we're all in funny positions. Oh, I tried to be clever. Uh, you was in the way of my clever line going on there. It would have been a, it would have been a good line. We would have got the best run out of everybody, but uh, we just couldn't quite make it work. Ewan is to the outside towards. We've still got another lap to go after this, as we're fighting like this uh, on the penultimate lap. Liam might sneak up the inside of all of us. We are out of the final corner with the lead once more. They get a big oversteer moment. It's fine though, as we head across to the final lap of the race. Can. Chris catch us before this. Can we make it a four-car battle for the lead? There are vehicles further back as well that are not far away from getting involved in this. God, this is madness. It's gone from being a really, really scruffy start of the race to a really, really good final couple of laps. We're going to swing out wide. I daren't cut all the way to the inside because I didn't know. Uh, oh! Well, it's now got a bit scruffier for me. Here comes the horde. Oh, we're going to get dumped all the way to the back of the horde with no slipstream. Oh, no, it's a disaster for me. I was just trying to get away from the pit lane. I don't quite know. I guess Chris didn't quite have the chance to get out of the slipstream. One car's just got fired up. Oh, good God. This this is just the whole horde. I might be in the best place. Goodbye, Brazen and someone else. I think that might have been a pegger. Uh, <laughs> don't even know what started that. Something big went on that launched them all the way off the course. Somebody else to get far to the inside. That's one of the biggest crashes I think we've had in GTA 5. That was monstrous. Uh, we're around the outside of Longbow, I think it was. Could have been Scotty. Uh, can't, can't look at the moment. We've got too much going on here. This is all going to be... Oh... That's another massive crash. I was going to say, it's all going to come down to the hairpin, but that crash might have actually really broken the 
group up here. Uh, we need a... Oh, we're going to be too far back. It's going to be a really good run for the green machine over there. Scotty's got a really, really, really good run all the way to the inside. We're trying to chase them. Liam's got nothing in terms of slipstream here. Uh, the purple car out wide isn't in a great place. We get a good run off the corner. We end up sort of giving a bit of a squeeze to Scotty here. We've got a really good run up the hill now. If we can hold on to this through this chicane, can we get out of these next couple of corners? Well, we get a slide. There's a wiggle from my vehicle. There's another wiggle as well. It took a couple of bites. Something went on behind. We are going to take victory. Hyper takes second. Chris is in third. I don't know what happened at the chicane behind me because we were too busy doing our own little race in that, funnily enough. Ooh, after what I thought was going to be a disastrous time, we got it back. We got it back. We were in the right place at the right time. We chased cars across the circuit to try and get a slipstream. And we, we got there. We got to we got to the battle at the right time. I mean, we technically led like the last three laps across the line. So <laughs> that's good fun. It was a scrappy, messy, messy race. But also quite an exciting one as well when we weren't falling over. Well, maybe you enjoyed the falling over. You probably did. If you're on a channel called Fail Race. You're probably enjoying the falling over as well. So, for our second race at this circuit, we have got the Cognoscenti. Uh, I quite like this car, actually. I've raced it a few times. I quite like it racing it in the sedan category. If you take away, the Shaft of E12 is the fastest of the sedans by a million miles. Well, by many miles. Uh, you take that away, and the sedan car is actually quite good fun to race with, and I do tend to like racing uh, one of these. Quite, quite a good car. Uh, the hope is oh, that we can have a slightly less chaotic race slightly slightly more like the couple of good laps we had in between the massive accidents in that previous one. If we could manage that, that would be good. Although with three wide on two. Oh! That's the fun. That's, <laughs> you can literally watch there as Gliska's car just brushes the rear bumper. You can actually see my front wheel suddenly steered to turn my car into the field and Gliska's stuck on the outside of me. I take, well, I take back what we said about the, the minimal crashing. I mean, it wasn't as big a crash as the last one, you know, as the, as the biggest crash as the last race. That's something. We've got a really, really big toe here. I don't know, oh, although so is bumpy on the inside. Four wide is, no. No, no. Two wide is okay there. It was going to be three wide rather than four. I'm not going to go three wide, not on the first lap. On the final lap, if the wind depends on it, maybe, but the wind's never going to depend on it there anyway, so... Yeah, there's not uh, not a place to go three wide. You're just asking for a crash. This is very understeery from the last car. <laughs> Maybe we should have done it the other way around, thinking about it now. We should probably have driven this first and then gone to the sports cars, rather than sports cars to big boat. Yeah, that might have been a good idea. Uh, can I have a run to the inside of the pink machine? We will. We will get our car stopped as well, although the pink car's going to fight back. Oh, crash on the outside which we managed to avoid. A little bit of a leaning going on, but nothing major here. Uh, Turquoise car is to the inside a bit. No, no one's got any draft at all. Brazen's going to get all of us, I think, down here. So we're stuck three wide. Uh, Ladosaurus is going to back out of that one. Probably wise, given the situation. I wanted to do a cutback, but there was nowhere to go in all of that. Uh, we do get past... Oh, Bumpy was slow on the exit. Could have got oversteer or just brushed the inside hay bale. That is something that can and uh, does happen sometimes. We should get past Gliska. I mean, Gliska's kind of okay in, at this stage to probably fall in line for a for a moment because you can just get a slipstream down towards this next group. You know, this is this is all about working together a little bit after we went and visited a field on the first lap. We can now work together a bit and hopefully catch back up to the to to the pack who are still fighting two wide. Peg is missing a bumper, but everyone else up the front looks like they're in relatively good nick a lot of speed. We're going to get a good exit here. Might have that tighter line again. Kind of. Oh, keep in the draft of somebody's car. Yeah, you, you need that draft down here. If you fall if you fall out of the draft, you fall into like the sucker hole with no, with no slipstream. We've not got much going on, actually, for us, which is a little bit of a pain. Where's there a gap going to be? Through the middle? Yeah, that'll work. Oh, the middle of everybody is sketchy. Don't really like that one. Everyone's going to start coming back. Oh, <laughs> actually know who was moving on who. Ah, oh, it's not going to be three wide. We just about sorted out. But yeah, we got two by two through there. We did go two by two. Is Ewan going to realise there's a car to the inside? There was a little... <laughs> Ewan did well to hold that. It was a little... It was, again, it was a small bump. 
of it. It's just enough to... The speed you're going there through that corner, a little bumpy, is going to really unsettle the car. But you caught it uh, very well. Oh! That was a tree! <laughs> I... I was one of those, I didn't even register, and I guess they didn't either, that there was a tree, that there was potential for, for danger down there. But there was. It was dangerous. Car lost. The car lost quite badly to that tree. Trees are mean. Who would have thought it? Uh, we're going to get a big draft, although. We're going to get a draft. It's not going to matter, because the car's behind. Look at them come. <laughs> There's all of that speed from everybody further back. Uh, yeah, they're going to go to the outside. I want to do this, like, massive sweeping cutback, but... When you've got such a big group of cars, if you try and do it, because you'll take such a wide line on the way in, uh, you actually end up in a lot of bother. Like, the, the, the sweeping cutback line I want to take is just asking to get accidentally torpedoed, really. Oh, two by two into the chicane here. Ewan, I think, had to abandon the corner, realising he wasn't going to make it, so took to the, to the outside. This is going to try to get underneath. Probably won't get the speed on the exit here. Not quite. We're both getting the draft from Brazen. There's a mad final corner. We got away with it, though. Uh, do I have a big fire up the inside? We do. It's three wide at turn one. That was brave. It was... I say it was brave. We did... Yeah, everyone knew there were cars there. There was enough space given. We're still not giving up on the three wide antics. We probably should have done. Gliss is going to duck underneath all of us in that one. Uh, in the, I've just realised it's not just Impega's bumper that's missing on that car. There's a lot more damage at the rear there. Like the whole rear corner's been sort of pushed aside. Is anybody going to go with me? Yes. Brazen's gone to this outside. If we can duck across and get in the draft, maybe we can get the jump on the other group of cars here. Everyone's trying to, like, shuffle across, but they can't because we're, like, five wide. Now they can start shuffling across to get a draft off of me. There's some interesting, peculiar sort of slipstream tactics going on in this because there is some two really long straights. Uh, oh! Just lost... I mean, I guess we'd rather have a collision do that. You know, it's... Well, I mean, I'd rather I didn't get slowed down, but it's better that than spinning the car ahead uh, from the from the contacts to the back. Uh, with three wide again. Three wide is dangerous. Had far too much three wide antics in this one, to say the least. We're going to get a really good run. I should have checked really before doing this, because I didn't actually have a look to see if anybody had a run on me. Uh, if they had, like, a faster run going to try and get past me, so... Yeah, you've got to look everywhere, and that's the difficult part. You've got to make a million oh, decisions, adjustments, and whatnot on the fly. All right, Danger Man's going to get a good draft down here. Slingshot past. Let me fall into the slipstream here, and then we're going to try... Yes, let's do this. I say let's work together. It kind of works to an extent, but they've got so many groups together. It's like we... Like us two working together against one car can probably work to get you a little bit away. Oh, hello! <laughs> <laughs> exactly the same thing I did in the first race, just understeered wide. Don't tell me this is a final lap. It's not. There's one more after this. That's all good. I don't want that to be how my race ends. Chris was on a wonky line up there. Uh, we're going to be on a wonky line around here. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to win the race from this position. We could maybe get second with a really good run out of the final corner, which we don't get this time around. We're a little bit more boxed in. Here we go, down towards turn one. Is there any space? For us, there's not really any space for uh, Chris, who thought about trying to make that three wide work, and in the end just ran out of room. We're going to shoot through the middle of everybody towards this next corner. We're going to be on the wider line, and that's okay. Don't really mind that. I don't really mind this line out here that much because I can do the sort of cut underneath down here, which does it does seem to work. It just relies on some other company for slipstream, which I think we are going to get. There goes Chris. We're going to try to move over and chase that car as everybody's now, of course, moving around looking for a bit of a draft. Uh, I've got nowhere to go with it. Oh, got to be careful, though, because they're all bunched up in the centre now. This is the final lap of the race. You do not have any more second chances. If you make a mistake here, it is going to be the end of days. I, there's just no way we're going to fit in that. There's, there's a time where you have to back out of it. And uh, <laughs> that was one of those that we had a good run, but it's three wide towards a corner that three wide's dangerous. I can't make it four wide there. You're just going to have a crash. Oh, uh, we're going to have a bump on the back of Brazen's car. This has actually gone quite badly for me. We've lost so much momentum here that... Okay, well, it's either one of two things. Either this is perfect position for us because we can get that massive run to the hairpin and get everybody, or we're too far back. And I don't know which. There's likely to be some bumps and some incidents on this final lap before we get to the finish line, I would expect at least. Uh, but who knows? Right, we're going to try and get the toe. Please, GTA, don't do that thing where you forget to give me any slipstream. It hasn't. We've got the toe on Longbow at least. Uh, I think we're going to be too far back, you know. And either that or we're going to have to get we're going to have to get the best run 
through this hairpin you ever did see. It is so many cars looking for a way through. We've actually found a good way through in the middle of all of this. We've got up to third from the back of the group. However, we've got no draft off of Impega. We desperately needed that if we were going to try and even hold on to third or, or look for getting second. We're going to go around the outside of Danger Man through the first part, but we are going to be on the outside for these final couple of corners. Oh, Danger Man hit the inside bump and got slid wide. I think we did the best we could from that position. Impega's going to win from Braze, and we will take a third place in all of that. I mean, considering where we were heading towards that hairpin, third is better probably than I expected or could have hoped for, really, in uh, in that one. The fastest to Stevie, actually. Um, but further back. I mean, if you were in clean out, we were having a ridiculous battle. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. I got desperately unlucky. Uh, I say desperately unlucky. No, we just we got dumped down without a slipstream. We had to kind of yield out of the way of the four wide and just didn't quite have the time to recover. But as I said, I'll take a third at the end of the day. And it was a very, very good fun race as well. And in many ways, that is uh, the most important part. That is also going to be it for this uh, for this video. Thank you very much to uh, Level 8 Food Source for building this uh, wonderful, wonderful circuit. And thank you all very much for watching. However, shall be it from me. Until next time, uh, goodbye.